I remember the first thing he said, like, anything you need, just ask us. Uh, which, you know, okay, I said, okay, yeah, yeah. But in the back of my mind, I was like, no, nah, I'm never going to ask him for help because I can, you know, I don't, let, I don't let people do stuff for me. I like to do it on my own. If I did it on my own before my injury, I'm going to try to do it on my own after my injury. I don't know about other military branches, but the Marine Corps, that is a big pride thing. You are taught from the day that you go in that you do your own stuff. I mean, you've got your buddy next to you, and you have to protect their back, and you can't do that if you ask for help from everybody. Pam and Don and JCS, has, uh, <laughs> they've gotten a little, they've made me a little softer on that part, and they've kind of forced me in some situations to, <laughs> to get help, so, uh, which is good. It's just better, it's made me a better person, and, uh, you know, it, it's taught me that there is a lot of good people out there. But they don't ask for anything in return. So that is, uh, that was very generous of them when I, uh, something I seen when I first met them and the whole JCS organization. My name is Joshua Metz. I'm a corporal, or was a corporal of the United States Marine Corps. Get on the bus right now! Hurry up! Hurry up! Move faster! I joined in 2008. Went to Paris Island Boot Camp. I was, uh, you know, being an 18 year old, I, you know, I wanted to join the Marine Corps, but uh, I had a bad authority problem. I didn't like people telling me what to do, like I said. It's hell because you just went through, you know, some of the hardest training that, you know, the America has you know, and the most toughest military uh, branch that I think. Get in line with me. You rush over that other darn poles over there. But the nation and the corps for which they bled and died remains in good hands. Your hands. That their legacy is safe into the 21st century. You would get the Ingle Globe and Acre, and that symbolizes that now you have the right to be called a Marine. It's kind of a proud moment. Like I'm, most everybody's gonna cry. I don't care if they tell you they didn't cry, then they're lying to you. From there, I uh, got my MOS of 1371 combat engineer and got deployed immediately to uh, Afghanistan. I'm the combat engineer division, which means I handled explosives, and it's my job to clear IEDs, uh, find them, clear them. Well, it was like a, a normal day. We had we had been there for six months, two weeks. Uh, we only had two more weeks to go. Anyway, it started out good. We've got, I don't know, 150 meters out from the, the PB. We were crossing this wadi. He wanted to blow something up. So I was like, okay, we only have two more weeks to go. I've, I've been down this route a lot. Uh, didn't think I had anything to worry about. And uh, it was a pressure plate ID, which is something I probably should have seen. Um, yeah, that's what happened. You know, my buddy had stepped on it, and uh, three of us got hurt. Uh, he got killed. I had gotten thrown, my spleen ruptured, uh, kidney and liver lacerated. Uh, as I had an emergency surgery in Afghanistan. Um, <clears throat> But uh, at least I'm here, so I mean, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I would have changed that day, so. But like I said, you can't go back in time anymore, so. Uh, you learn to live with it, and uh, uh, I just hope he's up there looking down on me now, you know, he forgives me and stuff, so. It took a long recovery process to get where I'm at now, and uh, JCS has helped me with that. Um, as, uh, been there with my family, help out financial situations, and just being there for uh, moral support. And uh, so that's why I'm here now. Without this organization, I, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs>